Hey everyone, it's Eshme from AppGyver again, and I just wanted to jump back into this meme generator to kind of highlight and explain a bit more some of the individual elements that could definitely come in handy for your other app projects that you're working on. And so today I wanted to focus on this page layout tree. And this layout tree will come in handy when you have a lot of different components on the page and you need to keep track of the order and the grouping and the arrangement of all of them. And so if you remember from our make a meme page, we had these input fields and this, these paragraphs and the image. And so the layout tree was very important for me to make sure that everything was structured correctly and especially when it came to all of the styling. So if you see here, I have three containers on the page. And if you click on them, you can expand and see what's inside of each one. So in this first container, I had the top input field. And this bottom container, I had the bottom input field. So you can see that when I click on it, it's also selecting it here on the view canvas. So if you want to make changes, you can also do it by selecting it here on the tree as well. And this middle container has a lot more inside of it because, you know, this was where the meme was and I needed the paragraphs and the image to be there together. So within this big container, I have another container with the top paragraph, and then I had my image, and then another container with the bottom paragraph. And so this was really important for me when I was creating my meme generator to make sure that all of the elements within that container were in the right order. I should also add that if you want to change the order of components on a page, then you can also do it here from the layout tree simply by clicking on the component that you want to move and just dragging it. So let's say I want these input field containers on top and the meme picture on the bottom. I just drop it right there. And now the input fields are on the top. And that's it. Use the page layout tree, keep track of all your UI components and keep yourself sane. Thanks for watching.